everyone. I have Flor C. Morissette here today. She is a creative, she is a consultant, she's a community builder, and she has crypto flossing. Um, can you tell us about your background, Flor C., and also your connection with the arts? Yeah, thank you for inviting me, Mary. I'm really excited to be here with you and your friends. Mm -hmm. um, my background um, into the arts um, and really my career background begins um, in 2007 when I actually opened an art gallery focused on my culture, Haitian art. Mm -hmm. um, I traveled the world. Um, I would su subsequently travel the world um, and buying art and bringing it back. But the art that I was bringing back was the art that I saw that was lacking in the, in the arts community, the traditional arts community. So I um, mainly focused on African diasporic, Caribbean, Latin American, I had some Middle Eastern art and Mexican. And basically I wanted to tell a story of people, culture and land and experience. I love that. Um, so your journey as a hungry artist, AKA somebody <laughs> who is a talented, determined creative, um, that's you. So like, tell us about your journey as a hungry artist. Yeah, so I, you know, I since recently claimed the title of artist and creative. Um, I've always been a champion of the arts. I love and I'm passionate about, you know, using art as a medium for change. Mm -hmm. And my journey, even as an art gallery owner, was a struggle. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't have a business degree. I didn't have an arts degree. I was on a mission. And I never really got to the heights that I wanted to. And I subsequently ended up going to business school and um, just trying to really understand the business side of the arts and how to run a business. Um, I would eventually embrace the thing that was disrupting me at the time, which was technology. Mm -hmm. And I would have a career in big tech. And, you know, as I come, I've circled back into Web3, which is a blend of art and technology, I still find my way sometimes struggling. Mm -hmm. And, but what I don't call myself as a starving artist, because I feel that to your point, when you say hungry, it's like, I'm anxious, I'm driven. Um, I would even use the word rabid because I am just passionate about getting this message around art out and using as a medium to impact and influence the way that we see each other as people and as a society. So being a hungry artist and creative is about um, bringing people along and, and um, educating them, inspiring them, um, and really just really act, acting as a vessel. I love that. You're so faceted and I feel like everything you do is so versatile. So that's really amazing that you were like a gallerist, you've been in tech, uh, you're also a consultant. And I feel like you always give me such great advice, which I love like talking to you and bouncing ideas off of you. Um, also like you were part of this exquisite collabs. So tell us about like the artwork you created for the legs that's going to be, um, dropping soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before I go into the art that I created, <laughs> Um, I just want to say thank you for being an amazing friend, um, client, um, inspiration to me, and for even inviting me to be a part of that. Um, you are the reflection of what it is to be a creative in this space and to be a hungry artist and, and kind of actually sharing your food and your plate with others. And I really appreciate that opportunity. Oh, um, I love that. You're and it's right back at you too, Florency. Like me and you, I feel like we were in uh, NFT NYC together, going to all the panels and like you would record my panel. I would run and like wake up early, like record your panel. I feel like we're there for each other. And it's really important to have like people in this Web3 community, especially during a bear market or like on a like in a time where people don't care as much to know that we are both the same level of like, we are so hungry. We like want to help each other. And like, I, I love that we have each other. So thanks. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the piece that um, I ended up creating um, off of your invitation was a piece of these robotic legs. I wanted to create a, something that was tech focused. And I, I thought of like a robot. I thought of technology. And I love the juxtaposition of um, the piece on the top, which was very colorful, light. It felt bubbly and and I just wanted to show like art and tech together. Mm -hmm. And that was my mission. And it really is a reflection of who I am. I'm a hybrid thinker. I'm very 
creative, but I'm very business framework oriented. And that's how my brain works. And I wanted to be a reflection. I wanted the piece to be a reflection of me. Yeah. And I totally do see that because when I see your art and like the stuff you're building with crypto flossing, I feel like it's like in that perfect DNA of the hybrid between art and tech. So it's perfect. And it's uh, launching July 19th, which is exciting. Um, so we'll be dropping yours for a 48 hour live auction. Um, and then it also will have like a song embedded on it and it's a little bit animated. So like, so excited for yours. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah. We're so full of surprises. So I surprised you today with my braces. Oh my gosh. I know when you came on and I saw the braces, I was like, I just saw you a few days ago. When, when did you do that? You know, but then you surprised me with the date. Cause I didn't know a date. I think you might've sent it, but I didn't know what date it was. July 19th. Drop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So everything's been like a surprise and a reveal, even for the people that's collaborating with it. They're like, wait, when, when's mine dropping? But I thought instead of doing all 12 at one time, how like nice is it to make it like really, really like slow, tell the story, do only two a week. And so today we dropped our first two. Um, today is June 28th. But when this recording goes live, it'll be right before your drop, which is July 19th, every Tuesday. So for the next six weeks. And then um, I didn't even tell you for but we're going to, we're planning an event in LA on August 2nd. So hopefully after you speak at NFT Expoverse, you'll stay around a few more extra days. And then we're like setting up an awesome event in LA. Oh my God. Yes. So a lot of things always cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I might even try to bring my dog this time around. Yay. It's such a, like such a close drive, but for me to be able to stay longer, I yeah. really would love to have my dog with me. He's your baby. <laughs> Yeah, he's my baby, but like if it's gonna be like a week, yeah, why not? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> Yay. Um, so the fourth question before our last um is your thoughts on NFT, um, NFTs and like the web three space right now, and like what you think um how it's gonna be in the future, or like for you who's been like um in the web three space for a while, a crypto native, like give us some insight on NFTs and web three. So it's been interesting, you know, I joined the NFT Web3 space, you know, early 2001, and the market was rallying, crypto was rallying, and the T projects were dropping every day. And, you know, it was it was going through a great time. And now we are in the second half of 2022, which is June 28th, and we are in a winter bear season. We're in a winter crypto season but additionally which is adding extra pressure is that we're in a we're going into a recession the stock market is down um and so tradition during this time this is the time where you find that folks actually start to build the, the clear the the playing field starts to clear mm -hmm. meaning the cash grabs the lower tier projects the folks that weren't mission driven are like all right i'm done i've lost my play money, I'm done, mm -hmm. um, especially the short-term projects. Right. But we're now starting to see, especially off of the hills of NFT at NYC, NFT LA, mm -hmm. folks are still building and more so than anything, folks are building at the infrastructure layer and thinking about how do we unlock the power of NFT and blockchain technology? Mm -hmm. And so I'm really actually excited and really hopeful to see what's gonna come out of this over the next six months to a year. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there is going to be a resurgence of you know, Web3 as a, a future forward way to mm -hmm. redesign how artists, creatives, musicians, um, Creator, uh, uh, the creator economy, people that are posting online, um, and a whole host of other industries are leveraging this technology to redefine their business operating models. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. I feel like as the noise leaves, hopefully the good projects rise. And I feel like me and you both, we've been working really hard on our projects and just like really thinking about the long game. So it's exciting to like really build for not just like a short term thing, but projects that are really empowering the creative community. And so I love that you're like on the same page with me. What are you currently working on and where can everybody find you? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for that. Um, so I'm working on a lot. I'm trying to get things done. Um, so as you shared earlier, I'm a consultant. So I work with a lot, a few key projects, 
where I'm consulting them on how to launch their product, um, how to go to market, what does their marketing strategy look like, how do they reach their audience, and really build utility into their projects. Um, additionally, um, I feel like I'm on a mission to educate um, not only my my community, but women and, and creatives and diverse creatives. Um, and so I'm creating a book um, that I'm going to be releasing soon that helps people understand what are NFTs, what are what is blockchain. Um, if they want to buy an NFT, I want to walk them through the process of, of walking that through to them. I want to also walk them through the process of considerations on how NFTs and blockchain technology um, can unlock um, utility and power for them in their current industry. Mm -hmm. And so it is a one-on-one -on -one book, but it will really will start with helping ground them in some core understanding and then start thinking and open their mind to think about NFTs and blockchain in a different way. Um, hopefully later on, I will start to roll out more product lines, but that's the biggest thing that I'm working on. I'm super excited about that. I'm super humbled to be able to leverage all that I've learned from my old previous projects and just being in a space and just sharing that with the community. Nice. So the book is launching at the end of this year? Um, it will be launching soon, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. uh, we are working really hard. I have a small team. Mm -hmm. um, but we're really working hard. We really want to be thoughtful. Um, right now, we're going through the second round, the third round of edits. Um, mm -hmm. One of the things that I'm doing is I want it to be personal. I want the layman's person to pick it up and read it and understand. I want my mom yeah. to be able to understand this is what my child works on. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. that is what I'm spending my extra time on re-editing it, taking a conversational lens to it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, July uh, at the latest will be um, dropped in September. I usually take August off. So Right. Oh, nice. That's yeah. soon. So that's exciting. Yeah. And then I know we're going to be seeing each other for NFT Expoverse. We're speaking on a panel together that you've invited me on. And it's about diversity, which I love that. And so that's July 31st. And it's crazy because we've met in Art Basel at NFT um, at an NFT event, and then again at NFT LA at NYC NFT. Like it's been an ongoing journey between like just kind of meeting at these different cities for Web three stuff. So very excited to have you part of this. Thank you for coming on. And uh, where can people follow you? Oh, I'm glad you you reminded. So I'm crypto flossing on Twitter and IG. And then you can find me uh, on Florcy um, on LinkedIn. That's where my community lives. Um, of course, I have a website and you can look at that at But if you want to engage in my conversation, you want to be a part of my world, I'm going to be a part of yours. Let's engage on those social platforms, Crypto Flossing on IG and Twitter and Florcy on LinkedIn. Perfect. I love the branding. I love the name. Crypto Floss. <laughs> so good. Yay. Well, have a great day. And thank you so much for taking the time to speak with Hungry Artists and with me. And I can't wait to see you next month. All right. Congratulations okay. on your project. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.